Hello, everybody. Welcome to Live at Five. I'm Beth Stevens. And I'm Ryan Lee Gilbert. And we have a very rowdy couple of guests, we? Don't do. We do. You're in for a treat today. We have a warthog and a meerkat. <laughs> Fred Berman and Ben Jeffrey are here from The Lion King. Yay! Yay. Woohoo! But first, we have lots of stuff to talk about. We do. Not too much. Um, but first of all, the opening of SpongeBob SquarePants was last night. Congrats to the whole, the whole team over there. A great group of um, people. Yeah, fantastic people. I'm seeing the show this Wednesday. I cannot wait. Um, also, Farinelli and the King be begins performances on Broadway this evening. Mark Sorry, Rylance. Mark Rylance. Very excited about that. And Max von Essen has officially joined the cast of Anastasia. He's over there playing Gleb. Gleb. Stepping in for a mean Karim Lou. Yes, it's absolutely. Wonderful. His name is his vlog during an American in Paris. So we're very excited to have yeah. him there. Um, and then news wise, Mr. Hugh Jackman. Um, you've heard of him, right? <laughs> so he has got a big movie coming out this winter on December 20th, The Greatest Showman featuring music written by Benj Pasek and Justin Paul. But in an interview with Variety, Hugh Jackman said he is emboldened by the recent success of Hamilton and Dear Evan Hansen and that he's itching to return to Broadway and it will be in he's developing an original musical. Amazing. That's all we know. <laughs> That's emboldened. Sad. Yes, but emboldened. I thought you were going to say he's joining the cast of Hamilton. Yeah, yes. That's not the case. No, no but he, he's emboldened by the success of those. He's itching to be back here. So he's developing an original musical. What it's about, what he's going to be singing. It's about an Australian man. Who's, yeah, we have no idea, but we're, we'd be happy to have Hugh Jackman, of he course. He could do anything. Uh, yeah, do whatever you like, Hugh. And host the Tonys again, why don't yes, you? Yes, please. We have more news about another Tony winner, not Hugh yes. Jackman. <laughs> Jane Howdy Shell who won for The Humans, and she will be back on the stage in MCC's world premiere play, Relevance. Mm -hmm. This is written by J.C. Lee, who worked on How to Get Away with Murder and Looking, very talented writer, uh, with direction by Liesl Tommy, who did Eclipse. Loved that show. With Lupita Nyong'o. Yes. Uh, it's at the Lucille Lortel Theater, beginning February 1st, and officially opens on February 20th. Now, what is this about, you ask? Yes. I'm asking myself the same question. <laughs> Let's read the paper. Uh, when a heated exchange between Teresa, an older celebrated author, and a veteran feminist warrior, oh, I like this, mm -hmm. and a young promising writer and cultural critic goes viral, Teresa finds herself ill-equipped to manage her message in the era of 140 character tweets. Ah. Or 280. Yes. Whatever. They're going to yeah, update it. Yeah, that's right. It's all good. Ca right. More casting will be announced later, but Jane Howdy Show is coming back. Yeah, and, and going to have a Twitter war, it looks like. And a, an a tweet storm. An tweet storm. Yes, <laughs> can't wait. Um, Celia and Andrew Keenan-Bolger. We love them. They're wonderful. They have landed roles in Marvel's first ever Wolverine podcast. Um, it's called Wolverine, The Long Night, and it follows federal agents, one of them voiced by Celia, uh, who make their way to a fictional town in Alaska to uncover a bunch of murders. Along the way, they work with a deputy, voiced by Andrew Keenan bolger and they look into their prime suspect, Logan, a.k.a. Wolverine, who will be voiced by Richard Armitage, and it also features Tony winner Brian Stokes Mitchell in a role that we don't quite know about yet. <laughs> um, and it'll be a 10-episode podcast, and it will debut in spring 2018. Maybe you Hugh like Jackman. Podcasts? I love podcasts. Me too. I can't wait. But and maybe Marvel? Hugh Jackman can develop that into a musical. Yes. Oh, Just look at saying. that. Wow, well, kismet. Hi. And we have an Australian watching. Hello, Mark. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a few things on the site. Yeah, there's As more we stuff. said, um, the opening of SpongeBob SquarePants was last night. So we have photos, and also Matt Roden did a red carpet challenge. If it's not up yet, it'll not be yet, up very yet. soon. It's yes. because he's in here. Oh, he's so Good lazy, that Matt <laughs> Roden. Um, also, lots of SpongeBob. A new episode, episode six of Getting Cheeky with Lily, so Lily Cooper. So great. So good. It's getting ready for opening night. And, and same, she same. celebrated. She celebrated the opening night for Haley Once Kilgore on and Once on this Island. Which Another is awesome. vlogger. Look at that. Yeah. And Keegan Michael Key stopped by The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon to talk about Meteor Shower. And doing a voice in the Lion King remake. Hmm, good tie-in, yes. Ryan. I mm -hmm. like that. So what next? <laughs> <laughs> with that in mind, we will be right back with Ben Jeffrey and Fred Berman of The Lion King. On the outside, always looking in, will I ever be more than I've always been? Because I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass, I'm waving through a window.
these artists will come together for only one thing. It's not a concert. It's not an award show. It's SpongeBob the Musical on Broadway. Welcome back to Live at Five. I'm Beth Stevens, and I am so excited because I'm here with Fred Berman and Ben Jeffrey of The Lion King. Over there. I like there. this one. Hey. Yeah. You guys are really good. Well, thank yeah. you. We were sitting off there watching. Uh, Very impressed, impressed with the newscast. Mm, they're buttering really me up because I know I'm going to ask them the tough questions. <laughs> That's true. That's yes. We've heard yes. about you. Yeah. First of all, let's get it straight. All right. I, I know this is going to be hard for you all to, to figure it out. Who mm. plays Pumbaa? Oh, uh, okay. No, no. no. I, I play Pumbaa. Okay. Yeah. And That's I'm the warthog. Mufasa. Mufasa. No, I'm kidding. I'm Timon. He's actually young Timon. Nala. Yeah. The but meerkat. The meerkat. Yeah. The warthog. Yes. Mm. And you guys have been the Lion King for a while now. Seven years. Seven, Seven years. years. Seven and a half years. Seven and a half years. Yeah, we came in together yeah, actually, yeah, which yeah. was really nice. You made yeah. your debuts in the show together. Yeah. yeah. Broadway yeah. debuts and Lion King mm -hmm. debuts, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Together. It's, it's been a while, time. and now you've had to live with each other for seven and a half years. It's seven a longer than some years. marriages. I know, and That's they don't true. let us leave the dressing room either. Yeah. And you are also roommates. Yeah, all the time. Yes, you know, yes, we are, in fact. Yes, yeah, yeah, we're and we do. We, we both do have wives and families, but we often spend more time with one another than we do those wives. Yeah. And okay, so let's yeah, get it out. Let's. What's, what are your pet peeves about each other? Let's just start with the important stuff. Oh man. Go ahead. I don't, Sometimes I, don't think I, want I like being the the bottom spoon. But yeah. so it's bad, and there's always like a struggle. There's a little like, bit of a like fight about that. The snuggling, the snuggle wars. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, if, if the problem is if I'm the big spoon, my bottom arm goes numb, and then that's that's frustrating. But this is so spooning mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. You have so <laughs> many issues. <laughs> 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 I have to say, it is unusual to have a gig this long yes. on the Broadway. Yeah, very much so. And in a show that's been sold out for 20 years. It's crazy. It it's, it's it's an anomaly. <laughs> it's and unheard of. It, yeah, because usually like every show. I've done before this. I was like begging people to come. I was like, well, guys, we got tickets. I did it. The producer said, we have tickets. We're giving <laughs> yeah. away. And I'm like, sorry, I can't get your tickets. It's sold out. Yeah, um, yeah. For seven and a half years, it's been that way. You must get yeah. those calls all the time. Like, I'm coming in with my seven children, and can you get me in? You're like, no. All the time. Or I mean, I'll be like, like, hey, I'm coming in with my seven children. Can you get us tickets to Hamilton? <laughs> yeah, that's, like, we get a lot yeah. of that. We all yeah, get that. Everyone on the I can't get tickets to Hamilton. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're busy anyway. And, but yeah. we frequently can't get tickets to the Lion King yeah. either, which is a, which <laughs> which is a great. really it's great problem to have, right? So, you know, yeah. Okay. Ben, yes. your yes. costume. We have to talk about your costume. Okay, this we is, can do that. This is, I don't know if it's in the Guinness Book of World Records, but it is oh, the heaviest that. costume I've ever seen on the Broadway. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a beast, oh, uh, as it were. Uh, oh, the, uh, see what I did there? Uh, no, yeah, so Pumbaa's about 50 pounds, give or take. He's about six and a half feet long. Uh, so it's, yeah, he's, he's the biggest single person puppet in The Lion King. That's, I don't know about the, the world, uh, but, but, the, <laughs> but at least in, in we'll the, our world. We'll just keep it in the Lion King. Well, right? And yeah. I mean, yeah, how do you keep yourself healthy with that? Uh, well, you, you know, it's, uh, it, I, I think that's a challenge for everyone though, yeah. in the show, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like again, it's, it, for one, so it's great to be able to do something for seven and a half years. It's wonderful to be able to get to dig into that story for that amount of time, which is a very rare gift. Um, but I think that represents challenges you never really experience in any other capacity either. Like what theater school prepares you to go do a show for seven and a half years? You know, you just kind of have to figure it out. So, and, and every track in the show has those challenges. I think like, like yeah. Pumbaa's really big and really heavy, but Timon has like this, he's got to like plug one of his arms into his leg and Zazu has like a bunch of different triggers. So our Zazus are always dealing with like carpal tunnel issues and you know, our dancers are running around on a rake stage with a bunch of tracks in it and stuff like that. So we all sort of have to figure out what we do, and for me, it's a combination of we have an absolutely brilliant, brilliant Melvin, uh, physical therapist on staff <laughs> uh, at the Melvin, show. Don't and go. Yeah, I know. Don't go. Yeah, he's gonna go. He's gonna leave us for Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. Everyone goes to Hamilton. Everyone wants to go to Hamilton. Hamilton. Not yeah. gonna run. It's well, not gonna only because they keep stealing our PTs. Uh, but he's um, <laughs> no, he's uh, he's and but he's and I'm sure that whoever comes to replace him will also be incredible. We're very very lucky to have good care there. And also, I think all of us have a gym regimen that we're pretty mm. religious about and, and just kind of generally try to take care of ourselves. Is that mm. hard for you, Fred, to keep a gym regimen and everything when you're a rock star at night? You know... Uh, the challenge is Fred Berman. We're going to be here a while. A <laughs> I am, yes. I play drums. I did play drums for a long time in a band called Lisa Jackson Girl Friday. Uh, we broke up and we came back after 11 years. We did a reunion show. Uh, last Saturday night, night and last night uh, we raised there. money for the Transgendered Education and Defense Fund. Uh, Excellent and talk. it was it was amazing. Yeah, it was it, a great, it, really it, great time. I, it really was. It's not just because he's my friend and he's here. It was absolutely incredible. Yeah. It was you so are great. Such a fanboy. <laughs> yeah. Well, they used to see him around screaming in the green makeup. Like, he is, he's usually there and he's like always. Oh, he's got his drumsticks in him and he's always like. <laughs> 
<laughs> on like every service. You're asking about pet peeves. Twenty minutes at a time. After all. Twenty minutes at a time. And then I see him do this rock show, and he is up there. They call him Freddie Boom Boom for a reason. He is Ooh. just like losing his mind, and I had no idea that this person I've been sharing a dressing room for seven and a half years was that <laughs> talented. Like, because on so, stage, I'm certainly so, not. No, right, not on, on the, <laughs> not on stage. Just yeah, just the of woo. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. So, no, but but with all that to say, even after seven and a half years. I, you could still get surprised by the the wonderful level of talent I get to work with. So yeah, well. it's really great. Yeah, cool. He mm-hmm. has a, he's a, he has a, he has a rock star background, right? Uh, I do. I mean, well, I mean I rock, star. rock star background, a rock, rock and star. roll background, no, big star. Yeah, my dad was a musician, and I've always played. Uh, I played drums since I was a little kid, and piano and guitar, and it was always I always between acting, it was always playing in bands or acting gigs, and it was going back and forth and. Uh, you know, it's 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 a passion of mine. So it's I'm glad that I can still keep to do it. You know, keep doing it, and uh, it's great. Yeah. Now you guys are in this show that a, for a lot of people, for a lot of children, this is the first show that they ever see on Broadway. Yeah. What is that like for you at the stage door? It's thrilling. It's really exciting. You know, well, it, it's interesting the stage door because a lot of times we walk out and everyone's sitting there with their playbills and they're so excited and they see <laughs> us and they go, they, they think we're stagehands. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Like they don't recognize me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, to be fair, I'm wearing but, a yak hair wig at the yeah. show. It's a little, you know, well, everyone's little, wearing uh, a lot of stuff in this show. Yeah, but they true. get, I mean, I don't want to say, you know, that Timon and Pumba are the favorites, but a lot of kids tend to really like You have like a Timon very good number. We, yeah, we have a yeah. good fan following, and um, it's great. I mean, I mean, how how amazing is that to walk out and see someone who's just seen the show for the first time, and their, their lives will forever be changed, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I think anyone's life is going to be changed by seeing live theater for the first time, and this show especially, and that's an amazing thing. It's an amazing responsibility that we have, and it's an honor, and it's a privilege, um, and especially now that you have Lion King Jr. being done. Oh, yeah. yeah. All, I mean, that's just amazing when, 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 that's always fun when someone's there, and they'll be like, this is my daughter, she just played Timon in Lion King Jr., yeah. and like, how that's exciting really is exciting, that, yeah. you know? And like, I want to be like, well, how'd you say this line? Like, yeah. tell me, like, Give me talk a line to me. Reading. Yeah. We, need, we need some ideas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, you know, it's thrilling. Yeah, it's great to be able, I think we're all great to be working performers and mm-hmm. being able to tell stories for a living is, is really, really great. The nice thing about being in an established show like Lion King is the platform it gives to bring theater to people. You know yeah. what I mean? So mm-hmm. so you get to you get to talk to people, it's their first Broadway show. Sometimes you get to take them backstage and show them, you know, like what puppets are like and right. what lights are like up close. And and we also do we do an autism show every year to be able, where they, you know, change a little bit of the lights and the sound to to be a little bit more friendly towards people who are on the autism spectrum. And that's incredible because yeah. that's a show for people who will literally never have that opportunity that's at wonderful. any other point in their lives. So being able to get to bring theater to people who otherwise wouldn't have it is one of the really exciting things, I yeah. think. And such Absolutely. a great show. Yeah, a really beautiful And speaking story. of which, can we talk about the 20th anniversary, which yes. just passed, oh, just last yeah. month, mm-hmm. with a surprise guest, Elton John, who wrote yeah. He was pretty good. He was okay. okay. He was pretty yeah. good. Did you give me a review, like, yeah. in the moment? Yeah, like, at well, the like, yeah. Take a t- you might, I keep going with the songwriting piano thing. I mean, I think it'll uh, think, out. I think, yeah. yeah, maybe it's it'll okay. work maybe out Maybe not so many sequins, but other than that, I think it'll be good. He is, I don't know how old, and man, he's still got it. He was good. Like, he we was, were all like, we we're like, oh, that's cool. Elton John will be here. What? And oh my God, he's, he's and he he's sounds like Elton. John. He plays like Elton. Me. Like, yeah, he was amazing. He yeah. actually yeah. sounded and played like Elton John for you, which was he, weird because yeah. I thought so he would strange. sound like someone else. Maybe like well, maybe he, he was, wouldn't live uh, up to yeah. what you thought. He'd yeah, be. no, he was really good. It was really cool. That and whole he was very experience nice. though, was and like, he called yeah. out. The, he, did, he, he he called out Timon and Pumbaa. He, he was like, so he does his he does his he does Circle of Life and and slays with it. Yeah. I mean, it's just incredible. And then he, you know, gets goes around his piano and he comes down stage and he's bowing and the audience is absolutely losing their minds. Yeah. They're going bananas. And he like turns around and looks at us to wave at us and he sees me and he goes, Pumba! Like that. And I was like, To no one else. No one else in the cast. I die happy right now. You know, so. But then, <laughs> afterwards, I, I he got a little, like, yeah. wheedled up to him with, because he was, he was like going off. He had he his next to concert to, to do. Yeah, okay. So I sort of was with the puppet and he came up and he punched the Timon puppet and I was like, all right, I'm good. So, so Elton John moment. just punched my puppet. We like, are going to absolutely yeah. receive that from Elton John. But it was great. The whole 20th was, was uh, I, it was just amazing. The energy from the crowd and having all the creators there, and they were yeah. so yeah. just kind and such they wonderful were so words. They were so lovely. Again. I mean, they were yeah. so lovely. Like, yeah, it was amazing. You know. It was it was really uh, just. It's nice when talented people can be nice, also. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It, it, and I think everyone was just so appreciative. I think I, I walked off stage, and Tom Schumacher was just off there going, "I can't believe it." I the can't head of Disney it. theatrical. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, and yeah. I, I met you know this guy 
was like, you know, 20 years ago, was like, let's do this crazy thing. Yeah. And 20 yeah. years later, he's standing off stage just looking at his friend Elton John singing a song. And yeah, I was like, I mean, we were blown away. But as I walked off and saw him, I thought, my God, like, what do you, you know, this is like your labor of love. Yeah. And this lasted for yeah. 20 years. And it was really special. It was a special time. And what was really cool, my favorite part of the old 20th, was at the after party, they had these giant oh, those uh, were like incredible. pillars panels. around the bar, panels, panels, with the names of every single person who has ever worked on The Lion King. Like, wow. like crew, hair, makeup, yeah, like even cast, subs, creatives, like everyone. And everybody. If you I, have I touched that was really The Lion King, King they yeah. recognize yeah, it was, you. It was, I mean, it it was, was very touching Beautiful. To that. How do you guys feel about the new Lion King that's coming out that they're filming? They're going to do a new movie version of it. Mm -hmm. How did you feel when you heard all that casting coming out? I thought it was cool. Well, it's it fantastic. Funny. Yeah, so, right? it's going to be great. So well, for, I was super character. happy that John Favreau is directing it. Yeah. Jungle I, Book I think is amazing. he's right. a genius. Yeah. So, yeah. You guys are going to be psyched to see that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was really, it was funny because John Favreau came to see the show, oh. and he was with Billy Eichner. Yeah. And, and Billy, Billy Eichner's doing He's playing, playing Timon. But yeah. I remember they came back saying, I'm like, why is Billy, like, Billy Eichner and John Favreau? For, like, that seems a weird combination. They go see a show together, but all right, cool. And then I think, like, literally that day, it was announced that he was doing it. Inside and, uh, Info. Yeah. Wow. But I, I think it's, it's great. Billy, if you want any tips or you want to talk yeah, about I'm anything. Yeah, I'm just saying this. You can Seth Rogen, them. I Seth know Rogen. you need, like, some ideas <laughs> and stuff. So. Is it? Neither of them are doing well. Yeah, own, I know, you know, I know. I'm really, I'm concerned for you no. guys. Are so. we getting really cool? We yeah. have some questions from our Facebook Live oh, people. Okay. We have a lot of questions. Right. I don't mean oh, to wow. ignore you people, but they're going to sip. And I have so many questions. Mm -hmm. Well, Lisa wants an dressing room nerd paraphernalia update, pretty please. Oh God, we have we, we so are easily the kings of nerds. The I mean, kings of nerds. He's in literally the got thing. a display of swords on his side. <laughs> I do. I'm not saying one sword, <laughs> like a display of swords. <laughs> I have a, a rush calendar. Rush and a rush signed uh, painting of Iron Fist and Luke Cage. Yeah. Um, what oh, you know, you know, so we've got the original Prince, Julie Tamor, when we joined the show, mm -hmm. because uh, I replaced the original Pumbaa, Tom Allen Robbins, mm -hmm. there for 13 years. You replaced, uh, you were technically, I think, the third Timon, but like, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. you replaced mm -hmm. Danny, who had done it for Another 13 10, years, 10 or, yeah. 10 or mm -hmm. 12 years, or something like that. Forgive me if I'm wrong about the figures, Danny. Yeah. Don't be hurt. <laughs> uh, but the, um, but the, um, so she gave us these beautiful renderings of some of her first drafts of ideas for our costumes in the show. Mm -hmm. So we've got those on the wall that yeah. are signed by her, but there's also a, one that I'm particularly proud of is, um, Tony Bancroft, oh, yeah. who's the original Pumbaa animator from the movie. I, I went over and I did Aladdin for, I uh, did a short stint over at Aladdin. Right. I was covering the role of Babcock there. And uh, when I went over there, he and Dondo Rivera, who plays Iago, know each other. And Don asked him uh, to do, like, he requisitioned a piece, basically. And it's Pumbaa, the character of Pumbaa, but dressing up like in Arabian Aladdin <laughs> gear. And it's, and it's a picture of him and Timon together. He's like, I'm ready for my close up, Timon. And Timon's going, It's theater, Pumbaa. And, like, and he addressed it to me. So it's like, That's going to be one of those things that the swords will probably come and go because no. I'm a nerd and I have a two year old Zombie now. Apocalypse, we need those swords. That's true. I'll be ready. We are the most <laughs> well defended dressing room on Friday. Our, our dressing room that's is pretty fun. So yeah. Come on yeah. by, check it's it out. A, it's a good yeah. spot. But yeah. oh, we're, all, we're all invited to come check it out. So that's, exactly. a, that's, that's exciting. Totally. Payton's asking. What's your favorite Disney movie and Disney song? Oh, gosh! I, my the first, I, I went to Robin Hood immediately. Oh, yeah! Wow! Yeah, yeah, that was like old school because that was one of the first great. ones I saw as a kid. Yeah. Uh, so I just I just jumped to there. So Beauty and the Beast, hands and down. And what song? Yeah. Well, I actually love If I Can't Love Her from the musical. It's not in the the movie, mm -hmm. so I don't know if that's cheating. Is that cheating? Totally oh. cheating. Che okay, yeah. all right. No, yeah. not cheating. I'm, I mean, from the movie, be oh. our guest. Probably, but right, like, yeah. but from from the show, yeah. If I can't love her, just shreds me every time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite. There's so many to choose. I know. Let it go. Let it go. I can't let it go. It's there you go. That's, 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 that's it. That's, yeah. that's, that's it. the go-to yeah. when you can't mm -hmm. think of one. Hakuna Matata. I yeah. thought you were gonna say that, but yeah. no, it's you know, really good. whatever. It's we good. love Hakuna Matata. We've sung it like <laughs> three thousand times. Yeah, you that's know, probably. So. Is that really how many do you think? I don't know. Give or take. A lot. There must Give be more photos of you two together than with your family members. I think there probably. are. Probably. Yeah. 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 Probably. That's yeah. that's not weird. Um, no. No, Alec is asking any f any funny on stage mishaps. <laughs> how, how much of this can we talk yeah. about? At all. Because <laughs> seven. Okay. So let me caveat by saying. In a show that's been running as long as Lion King has, I think there are way fewer mishaps it's a well -oiled than there are any right to well -oiled be, right? Machine, like, we've got yeah. an incredible crew. Yeah, and right. they are, like, our stage heads are some of the best in the world. I'm absolutely, absolutely yeah. So, So the fact that we don't have mishaps all the time is no small miracle. 
Here, um, oh, you know but, what? Here's my. Thank you for saying my, that. Now tell us what happened. Here's yeah. my favorite. So there are moments. I can tell you my favorite. I, I don't know if it's it's one moment, but it's it's happened several times. Uh, you know, there are times when things will break. Like I, my hand has fallen off. The puppet. You know, in the middle of a scene. Yeah, in the middle. Of, you know, <laughs> puppet hand. In the Simba, can you give me a hand? You know, yeah, like it's great. Something like that. And but, Fred is so quick with that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So but quick. my, I think my favorite, and it, it just brings me so much joy. Sometimes so there's a scene where Timon uh, gets swept away by this river. Uh, and he disappears and he falls down this waterfall and is he going to come up and they're looking and then I'm, I'm lifted up um, by this elevator. I go underneath the stage and the elevator lifts me up and they bring me up and there's a short moment where Pum and Simmer are going, you know, where is he? I can't see him. Oh, no, 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 no. Every now and then something will happen and they can't lift the elevator up. Uh -huh. You know, somebody looks stuck in it or right. safety and... His improvs, killing time, are, and a lot of times I don't hear them, but one time, the elevator just didn't work at all, so I was standing off stage watching him, tears just rolling vamping. down, because he's, he's going, hold your breath, you know, look for bubbles. He starts to sing Amazing Grace, he's yeah, caning, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's talking about, you know, trips that we took. We never got to see France. We <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. It's, uh, it's amazing. And I mean, then I just come on stage just with my makeup streaked with tears because I'm laughing so hard. Those moments have gotten fun. Do you guys have a lot of uh, time on stage when you can improv besides when there's a problem? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. no. There no. are, it's mm. every, and actually that's one of the, the greatest compliments we get. I mean, so many people it come. It feels very fresh. And they'd be like, yeah, that yeah. seems like, like you just made that up, you're improvised. We're like, no. It's, I mean, I throw in a lot of like extra ice just because, you know, I feel like I have to, you, you know, You have to wake my, each other up heritage. a little, right? Get yeah, each other's yeah, yeah. attention. But, oh, no. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, one of the things I will say, if we're trading compliments here, Fred is, Fred is one of the most present actors I've ever worked with. Like, like, and, and that's why, like, when his hand falls off, and he's like instantly like Timon can, or uh, Simba, can you give me a hand? You know, like mm -hmm. he's so quick because he's always alive and present in the show, which is why it always feels fresh to people who are seeing it. And so it's so, and that's and sometimes and that's why the oh, comedy works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when we do have to ad lib because something goes wrong, yeah. we we've been working together for a long time and we we play pretty well together. Yeah, I think, I, think yeah. I mean the only time it's ever is is when something goes wrong. Yeah, we, yeah. Well, we can't ignore this. Right. Let's acknowledge this. We <laughs> kind of need to this. own that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. You got to own the hand thing. Oh yeah. No. Um, uh, okay. Someone's asking. Elise is asking. How long does it take to put on the makeup and get into character? Um, for me, it's about twenty minutes for the makeup. Mm -hmm. I go up at the five minute call. Um, Scar is the longest. Scar yeah, takes about forty five minutes, minutes or yeah. so. So um, I. I, we have a half hour call at the five minute to places call. I go upstairs. I actually the fifteen minute call. I do the base of my face. I do the green, dark green here. Mm -hmm. Five minute call. I go up to the makeup supervisor Elizabeth Cohen. She does the rest. Mm -hmm. um, and usually I'm down by Grasslands when Mufasa is teaching Sim about the circle of life. Um, and at that point, come down, get in the costume, get yeah. a cup of coffee, do some stretches, warm ups. We talk. We have you know we have a very social dressing room. So. People come, we hang out. People and, uh, they like the swords and the, and the album it's covers. About the they feel so, safe. You know, you they know. feel yeah. safe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so about, about 20 minutes. Yeah, so not too bad. So, about, and it's a little less for me. It's about 15 minutes. But, yeah. What about taking it off? Do you ever find a little extra here and there? Constant. Yeah, everywhere. It is <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. Every, I mean, I go. My wife thinks, mess, these are messy characters. Mine is dark purple ears. in here, and my wife's always like, you look like you have a hickey yeah. on your neck, and that's troubling to me. And then you can so, take it off. And, and then I take it off, and, and so we're still together and happy. I love it. I you. mean, we were talking about, like, gym regimens. I go to the gym, and, like, I, th I throw my towel, yeah. and it's just, it's green. It looks like someone with, like, some weird disease. Like, I go to get, <laughs> you know, I go to the barber, and I'm like, D just FYI. <laughs> we're easily I the sexiest characters don't have leprosy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. It's important <laughs> if you're in the Lion King to warn your barber. I'm learning so much. <laughs> yeah. Dry right. cleaners love us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you both for coming in. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you. This was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Fred, thank you for being on time. <laughs> Why's it gotta be like that? Why has it gotta be like that? Yeah, you weren't late. For he wasn't late. No I one wasn't was late. late. I, can I show the panic text them. that I got from Ben? <laughs> it's a really funny uh, text. Yeah, really, no, I can't. No, we, we can't do that. No, we can't do that. But, but I was, yes, I was. I was late. Okay, I'll but just he's here now. He's here. It's all good. I just thought I'd rib it. Thank It'll you, hashtag MTA. Hey, you guys, so. thank you for coming in. Seriously, thank Such you for coming thank in. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. I don't have to tell you to go see The Lion King because I know you want to already. So go see it or see it again, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs>